could have been either like if he had have said something out of the way, then you ask him to step away. Or if he did something that gestured that might be unsafe for you, then to give a directive. But just off the bat to step away, no matter who it is, I just think it's, it's pointless. Because at the end of the day, this is a public sidewalk, correct? So there's people able to move freely. It could have been someone that deals with mental issues. They could have been talking to themselves. To you, that would have been, you know, not normal. So just for someone standing here and merely walking, I don't think that constitutes an officer safety issue. Hi, good citizens. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you are first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for future video notifications. This video is from my YouTube channel, Garar Killer Audits. The original link is in the description. Please subscribe and give credits where credit is due. Guys, when you are done watching this video here, please don't forget to post your comments. And as always, guys, if you would like to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. Let's get it into. Me? I do. Yeah, I do. What's, What's your name and badge number? Oh, I'm Officer Harris, 172. All right, and is there any reason why you're giving directives of not standing on a public sidewalk? I would say, 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 no. Yeah, don't give unlawful directives for you. Sir? I said don't give unlawful directives. I just asked you to not be in my Do what? I just asked you to please not be in my stop. I gave you some of your questions. You said don't be in the... I, I'm hard here. Don't okay. be in the traffic stop? I don't think so, no. Yeah, I asked him to not please be in my traffic stop. I didn't take him. Uh. If he stepped any closer... Yeah, I, I don't understand how standing on the sidewalk will be in the traffic it's stop. A safety thing. I, I recognized y'all after you stood there. I thought it was just some random guy walking in. And I was like, wait. It, it shouldn't know. matter who it is, though. Like You can't go in the traffic stop. You I'm not, can't, like, intervene. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't know who you are or where you're going. Interference is a physical act. It's, That's why I asked you. I didn't tell but you, you do understand that interference is a physical act, right? So, yeah, when you walk so by the fact of him standing on the sidewalk, that's not interfering. That's why I asked him. Right? But it doesn't matter. It, it could have been anybody. It could have been Moses on the ark if it was on the sidewalk. That's not interfering with your traffic stop. I asked him to just leave the traffic stop. But he wasn't in the traffic stop. The person in the vehicle was in your traffic stop. He was just close to the vehicle. That's why I just asked him. To so you felt unsafe is what you're saying. It's a safety concern, so I just asked him to leave. Uh, but I didn't feel it. The way you say it. What'd you just say? It's all about phrasing, right? Yeah, it is. A lot of legal stuff is all about yeah. phrasing. Yeah. So I, I don't understand the person with the taser and the gun and the baton. You're in fear, but yet we're standing here on the sidewalk with a camera and you're, I don't, it makes no sense to me. There's no logic behind it. You're but saying, if it, your interpretation of fear is different than mine and I can't judge that. So. Yeah. I mean, you can interpret it. I mean, there's no other reason to say officer safety unless there's a fear factor, correct? Because you don't know who's going to come to your traffic stop. I mean, it's, as crazy as it sounds, there are people that do some um, questionable things. I've seen some crazy videos. I think you guys have seen it is what it is. Not everyone's obviously going to do it. I'd say the majority of them. But you still have to just tell people, hey, can you step away from here? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. Just got to well, keep let things me, in let order. Let me give you a little word of advice. Sure. You just not said nothing? Yeah. We wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Just let me do my thing. And then... Like, I think, it, I think it would have been easier, like, if he had have said something out of the way, then you ask him to step away, or if he did something that gestured that might be unsafe for you, then to give a directive, but just off the bat to step away, no matter who it is, I just think it's, it's pointless. Because at the end of the day, this is a public sidewalk, correct? So there's people able to move freely. It could have been someone that deals with mental issues. They could have been talking to themselves. To you, that would have been, you know, not normal. So just for someone standing here and merely walking, I don't think that constitutes an officer safety issue. That's fair. I mean, just get used to it, bro. Get used to it. You guys coming back in town? You said coming back in town. Hall, man, that's all. Yeah, I took a break. My dad passed. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to move out of this way because I don't 
like being part of the entire role, I guess. Uh, I got you. Anything else y'all have to say? Be safe. You all too, okay? Appreciate have a good it. One, okay? Bye. Alright guys. This officer wasted no time in overstepping instructing a bystander on a public sidewalk to move away from a routine traffic stop under the guise of officer safety. Let's get one thing clear. Observing from a public sidewalk is not interference. The First Amendment protects our right to observe and document public officials in public spaces. Simply being there or filming poses no legitimate threat to officer safety. Unfortunately, officer safety is often used as a catch catch-all excuse to control or intimidate citizens, but Legally, interference requires a physical obstruction or action standing by with the, a camera doesn't qualify. The First Amendment further guards against unreasonable orders in the absence of uh, a true safety threat. Directives like uh, this one are just intimidation tactics meant to make citizens feel like they're crossing a line when they're not. Instead of upholding citizens' citizens' rights, this officer opted for unnecessary control demonstrating exactly the kind of behavior that erode public trust in law enforcement. Officers need to remember that their authority has boundaries. This isn't about their personal comfort. It's about upholding citizens' rights. But that's gonna do it for this video. Much love to our video. Make sure you make sure you use the link in the description to show them some love. And check out his videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next videos. Bye.